Hey everyone, for today's artwork we are going to create a polar bear. What you will need is a white piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors um, to help you get started. This is a two-part project, so we are going to do part one today, creating our polar bear, um, and then we'll do part two next time where we'll create his habitat for where he lives at in the world. So, step one, I'm gonna move some of the stuff off to the side, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to place my hand down in the middle and then I'm going to trace my hand. So I know some of us have traced your hands with me before and some of you haven't if you're one of the younger kids. Um, just hold your hand flat down, hold the pencil kind of light in your hand. Trace around your fingers one by one, lightly going around each finger. When you are all done, you'll have to lift up your hand and connect the back. Next, we're going to cut out and we're gonna start by using a bubble cut. A bubble cut is where we just cut around the outside to get rid of the extra paper of our hand. Be very careful when you're cutting out, not to move your cutting hand, but to move the paper with your non-cutting hand. You see me cutting out the fingers by cutting down, so I'm cut down one way, then I pause, I take out my scissors, and I cut the other way and get that little triangle to fall out. So in this example, you see me cutting down here and then getting it to cut out and it doesn't want to come out. That means I need to cut a little farther on each side to get that piece to fall out. When you're all done, you'll have your hand cut out ready to make your polar bear. All right, now that I have my hand traced and cut out, I'm going to use this to make my polar bear. I'm going to take my hand and flip it like this. This is going to be his neck and head and these will be his legs. So I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper that I had off to the side, and I'm going to draw a really big oval. Okay. This is gonna be for my polar bear's head. So I'm gonna draw a really big oval like that. I'm gonna take my scissors, cut out this oval, and then we're going to glue it down to make our polar bear's head. All right, so I got it cut out. I'm gonna get a little bit of glue here. And I probably don't need this much glue because I'm not drilling it fully down. And I'm gonna glue it down right about here for my polar bear's head. Now it's sticking to the table a little bit. I'm going to let this dry a little bit here, and then I'm going to draw my details. Okay, so for the last part of this project, we're going to draw our face and some details on our polar bear to finish up for part one today. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle here, and I'm going to lightly draw an oval, kind of for like the snout. Then I'm going to draw a sideways oval for the actual nose of my polar bear. And then I'm going to draw a line down. You can kind of make like an upside down T or something like that. And you can kind of have your mouth for your polar bear. Um, I'm going to put some eyes, some just little circle dot eyes for my polar bear here. And then uh, I'm going to draw a little curve, kind of like the letter C for some ears. A little curve on the inside, a little curve on the inside, and then I'm going to draw a little line going in between there, kind of separate for the ears. Now the face is done. Um, these are going to be his legs now, and I'm going to go in here and just draw some little tiny triangles for the claws of the polar bear. So the triangles, I'm just going to draw a few each leg all right and then when we're done these details we are done for the day um, and then next week we're going to create our habitat for our polar bear the last thing I might ask you to do just for the right now is to put your name on the back okay so keep this for next week we'll create our habitat or where the polar bear lives next week 
All right guys, so here's the example um, of my polar bear all finished up. I did trace his um, claws and his face details so that you could see him a little bit better with a black marker. That's something you could do too if you guys wanted to. Remember, hold on to these for next week. We're gonna add our habitat then. All right, can't wait to see what everyone makes.